Okay, well, right now the economy, everything's crashing. I'm frightened. How can I kind of start to look within and really say this is my definition of success when the sky's falling? Yeah, this is a perfect time. I know people are saying the economy's bad, gas prices are up. I think this is the perfect time to tap into your passion and inspiration. Um, so what is it about the show that most about the show? It's delicious because everybody's imperfect. The dad's a slacker. The mom gave up her kid after a one night stand. The kid's been in foster care for 16 years. It really shows that none of us have a perfect situation. The only thing you can do as a parent is really put forth the best effort. Put your best foot forward every single day. Your kids will forgive you when you screw up. Are oh, you sure about that? <laughs> I'm not so sure They'll about that. forgive you when you screw up. And more importantly, if you're accountable, if you say, I'm sorry, and mm. hey, mom messed up, you'll be amazed at how much respect you get from your kids That's as well. All right, what about sex and drugs? Those are the kinds of uh, things no that they like. <laughs> Not today, okay. Not today, exactly. Talk, Here's about a sex that. talk in my house. Mm -hmm. No sex. That was the talk my mother had with me at 12. Same here. No sex. That's not how you empower kids to make good decisions when it comes to sex, when it comes to drugs. You have to talk to them about what they're experiencing. You know that when we were growing up, it's a completely different world now. Oh. I mean, the things that kids are going through right now, it's completely different. And to say no sex, no drugs, is really setting you and your kids up for failure. Exactly. You're just in denial. Absolutely. And it's just a terrible and way. It doesn't Very nice. <laughs> I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Those other dots are getting old. Those other dots are getting old. I don't know, but I believe. I don't know, but I believe. The South Beach Dye will set you free. The South Beach Dye will set you free. It's all about the shoes. If you've got on the wrong pair of shoes, it's very possible for you to have a completely off day. And so getting Dell in the right pair of shoes for comfort, for durability, is critical. Man, lots and lots of sneakers to choose from, right? That's what I'm talking about. He's looking for comfort. He needs a little width, and he wants it to be a high top. So okay. what do you think you Absolutely. can come up with? I think you look very stylish. I mean, you not only look like a baller, but you got a little bling. I mean, I think people, when you walk on the court with those, people are going to know. They better watch out for you. Yeah. You think? Yeah. I'm gonna step on them. I'm gonna hurt them. <laughs> we got the clown out here. Put the these bad boys in the skillet. Let's get it started. Let's Let's do it. Do it. I got one word for Tiger Woods. Stupid. I am really excited about playing with Dell. It's been one thing to instruct him, but it's another thing to get on the court and play with them. And so I think between the two of us, there's enough humor and basketball history to have a great time. I'm a little bit concerned about his. He's a big cocky. Might hit that one. No. That's you. I got you. Oh. One. That's what I'm talking about. Let's make that, baby. Yes! Good yeah. shooting. Good job. Good job. How are you feeling after eight minutes? Good. We need to bring the CPR guy in yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Depends. <laughs> now, if I can play like that. We need again. to bring the depends in, but not the CPR guy. <laughs> that too. All right, so we ready for a good workout? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna continue doing what we've been doing the last few days. It's all about movement, it's all about activity, it's all about being sexy. Oh, that's another, that's another show. All right, so we're gonna do the day. You may come in under the wire with the time. I don't know, they're doing pretty good right now. I wanna remind you that you do not have a free pass. It's not a mulligan, you got work to do. Are we losing the hideous aqua blue? Yes, we are. Outstanding. Yes, we are. <laughs> I fully expect this place to be leased out, tricked out. Yesterday we had Anthony working with the kids, seeing if he could parent them without Christine. We have had one of the craziest snowstorms up here. We can't get anything done. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me about you guys. Have you been cooking? Have you been doing more cooking than just in the kitchen? There's been a lot of cooking. <laughs> I'm on my way to spring the first rule on the Caratellis. We started packing up their things. So I've sent them to Anthony's mom's for the week, but the build is on hold until I can get some teamwork going between these two. And I've got the perfect exercise for that. How are you guys doing? Okay. Outstanding. Hi, Good. Come on in. So, you see what's happening up there? Yeah. That requires a lot of trust and a lot of teamwork. Okay. Any idea why you guys are here? Trust and teamwork. <laughs> you guys are going up there to do some trapeze work. You look a little nervous. I am. You are? Mm -hmm. Why are you nervous? Um, not really good with the height thing. That Christine is nervous. And Christine, all right, 
Lean on your husband. Oh, no. Trust him, all right? And it's going to be great. So, changing room right there. Okay. You guys go get changed, and I'll see you in a second. All right. All right? Oh, boy. Got it, Chris. You did a good job. If you ever run away now, you could join the circus. <laughs> You faced your fear. I did. You I faced did. The I actually fear. did. You're right. So that was good. Now the two of them are going up together. It's about teamwork. It's about trust. It was about bringing you together to communicate and to connect and to trust each other and to become a better team with each other. Not just on a high wire or a trapeze, but also with your kids and then your relationship. And I really feel like you inched a little bit closer to being back together in a way that you guys can remember from years ago. Felt like a team effort. Yeah. And we haven't done anything together in such a long time. Yeah. We supported each other. Yes. Thank you. You did. You did. And this was a big, big role. And uh, I got great news for you. You passed it. All right. You passed it. Good job. No, I'm not going up. <laughs> so we have had one of the craziest snowstorms up here. We can't get anything done. I don't think contractors, vendors, anybody can get to the house. I got to check in with Steve to make sure. But, but anyway, no need to let good snow go to waste. So we're going to make the best of a situation. Yeah, here we go.